Hey everyone, this is Sean McDonald with Quiet Waters Realty Group and EXP Realty here to give you a market update on Surf City, North Carolina and the real estate market in particular. So there's a lot of speculation going on. There's a lot of uncertainty with the rising record setting inflation and a lot of people are wondering how this is going to impact the housing market. So we want to provide you just on the ground data for what we're seeing um, as we work in this market every day and want to make sure that our friends and clients are as informed as possible. So if you're interested in what's going on in, in the local real estate market here in southeastern North Carolina, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like, like the videos and, and feel free to comment if you want us to uh, dive into other data um, that could help you make a well-informed decision regarding um, real estate and what, what your options are. So overall, we're focusing today just on Surf City. So I wanted to show everyone who's maybe not sure exactly where the Surf City limits are. Um, you can see it's mostly on the island. Uh, it goes north up to just north of the canals, Surf City Line, if you're familiar with that. That restaurant is aptly named as it is right on the Surf City and North Topsail Beach line. Anything north of that is considered North Topsail Beach. And then it, there's a, a, a decent amount of areas on the mainland that, that are incorporated into this data set. So you can see just the Surf City um, cutouts right there. So first I wanted to talk about just the average sales price. And this is data that I pulled from um, the Cape Fear Realtors MLS um, or the Cape Fear Board of Realtors. So this is data that the board pulls from the MLS. The first one I wanted to show you is the average sales price. And I'm looking at this data from just April of 2021 to April of 2022 and comparing that. So in April 2021, you can see the average sales price for a home in Surf City was $464,000. Move to April of 2022, the average sales price is $561,000. So that's an increase of just over 20% uh, from last year to this year amidst a lot of the uncertainty and inflation and everything. So you can see prices are continuing to go up in our area here. The next uh, data set and one of the most common questions we get from our seller clients is days on the market. Everyone wants to know, you know, how long, if I list my house, how long is it going to take to sell? So to show you April of 2021, average days on market was 87. April of 2022, the average days on market was 32. So you can see a significant decrease in days on market. The stat sometimes can be uh, a little inflated just based off um, the average sales price in Surf City is higher than you know a normal kind of residential market because there's a lot of higher valued properties with these properties that are you know well over a million dollars. Typically, there's going to be less qualified buyers to purchase them, so the days on market it's going to take longer to sell those properties just because there's not as many um, qualified buyers for them. Uh, but pretty significant decrease in days on market, which shows that there is a ton of demand and even more demand than there was last year by far. The last stat I wanted to show you was, um, it's called months of supply. So if you're not familiar with this, the mo month's supply is a number of months it would take for the current inventory of homes on the market to sell given the current sales pace. So it's basically for all these houses that are on the market right now, how long is it going to take for all of them to sell based on the past data? Uh, historically, six months of supply is associated with, with moderate price appreciation. Um, and a lower level or a lower number of months is will push prices up more rapidly. So April of 2021, Surf City had 2.8 months of supply. And April of 2022, that number has dropped significantly to 1.2 months. And so down 57%, which is very significant. Um, interested to see what's going to happen in the next couple months as our, our 
you know, country works to kind of solve the inflation problem um, and the rising costs of gas and food, um, we're still, you know, we're just going to be continuing to look at this data and study it and provide it, provide the information to our clients to help you all make the best decision possible uh, with your with your properties. So data shows it's still a very good time to sell. There's still a ton of demand here in Surf City, North Carolina. So if you have any questions, please contact us below and hope everyone has a, has a great day. Thanks.